Hi, I'm Amy Stewart. I'm a writer and an artist. I love to travel with a sketchbook and draw from life wherever I am. One of the things that I've learned over the years is that what really gives a sketch impact is strong contrast and dramatic values. What I mean by values is how light or dark an area is. Because by really amplifying those dark shadows and the bright highlights, you can draw the viewer in and create something that has a lot of emotional impact. I think a lot of beginning artists really struggle with the feeling that their paintings are kind of flat. They feel like there's just not a lot of interest or impact in their work. So the answer to this is almost always values. If you can really understand values, you can make your art come alive. Strong values are what make round objects seem round. When you can see light or shadows in a street scene or a landscape, it helps to convey distance and depth and a certain emotional resonance that just comes from this feeling of recognition, like, oh, it's late afternoon in Rome, or, oh, it's nightfall in Paris. You know, it's those lights and darks that place you in the moment. So in this class, we're gonna dive into values by working with just one color. And I think you'll be amazed at what beautiful and impactful art you can make in monochrome. Now, this class is perfect for beginners, but um, also just for anybody who wants to improve how they translate what they're seeing onto paper. So we're gonna start off by warming up with a simple painting of a pear. Just to get us familiar with the idea of working with lights and darks, but without having to think too much about a whole lot of details. Then we're gonna paint a gorgeous street scene in Italy. You're gonna learn how to identify values in a photo, but also when you're out working in real life, and how to translate that to your painting. I'm gonna demonstrate this process in sepia using an ink wash pen. But don't worry, if you don't have one of those, you can also take this class with any water-soluble ink or with just a single color of watercolor. So by the end of this class, you'll not only have a beautiful and dramatic scene that you're proud of, but you'll also be able to identify and replicate those values in all your work going forward. So that even if you never go back to working in sepia, um, I'm gonna be giving you some tips that you can use to troubleshoot your paintings to make sure that they always have those kind of deep, dramatic, and wonderful values. All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get started.